Hello, and a very warm welcome to the new version of Sussex Daily News Channel. This morning, we give you a piece of breaking news. So angry as cruel, constant comparisons from Meghan Markle hit hard to Kate Middleton. Kate is said to be considering legal action against the Society Bible magazine, with Kensington Palace saying Catherine the Great article contained a swath of inaccuracies and false representations, according to a former royal editor. The Duchess of Cambridge was hit hard by the remarks made in an article which graced Tatler's July-August cover, because she is very keen to stop the constant comparisons between herself and Meghan Markle. The palace is particularly furious about claims that the Duchess feels exhausted and trapped by the increased workload following Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from royal life. Duncan Larcombe, a former royal editor, told New Magazine via OK Magazine that Kate was particularly upset by the article because she is very keen to stop comparisons being drawn between herself and her sister-in-law. As I said in the previous videos, the only reason they will sue Tetler as to out Megan as the source behind the article, Kate has had way worse written about her as she has always maintained her class and never whinged. They know they can show the world what a douchebag Megan is when it's revealed it was her. Thing is, we all already know. Plus, it's hard not to compare them. Kate would never do what Megan did at Wilmington and the BFA Awards. Kate does not mistreat staff or service personnel. Kate treats the queen with respect. Kate has not spent anywhere close to several hundred thousand pounds in one year on clothes. Kate did not demand hugely expensive public wedding, knowing that she was going to leave the royal family soon anyway. Both she and William continue to have solid relationships with both of their families. One woman is a good person; the other woman is not. He said, "It's almost as though they want to draw a line in the sand where it's gone a bit too far." He said that the constant comparisons between the two women make it seem like Kate is almost used by some outlets as a stick to beat Meghan with. We know William and Kate are very sensitive about comparisons with Meghan. The narrative of that falling out between William and Kate and Harry and Meghan touches a nerve. Earlier this month, Society Bible Tatler dismissed a legal complaint by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in an ongoing row over a controversial article, saying it has no merit. In a highly unusual move, the couple has sent legal letters to the magazine demanding its profile of the Duchess, headlined "Catherine the Great," be removed from the internet. The palace is said to have taken issue with claims suggesting Kate feels exhausted and trapped by the increased workload following Harry and Meghan's decision to step back, and we all know where it originated from. It's all coming from Meghan's camp. Meghan loves comparing herself to Kate so she can play the "poor me" game. Megan thought she could waltz into the royal family, and because she was a D-list actress who co-starred on a basic cable show, she would be treated as the next queen. Kate has worked hard for the respect and admiration the public has for her. Megan thought just marrying Harry would give her everything Kate has without having to do the work. Also, as a royal source told the Mail on Sunday, that is such an extremely cruel and wounding barb. It's disgusting. It's sexist and woman shaming at its very worst. The piece is full of lies. There is no truth to their claim that the Duchess feels overwhelmed with work, nor that the Duke is obsessed with Carol Middleton. It's preposterous and downright wrong. In a statement issued after the article was published, Kensington Palace said this story contains a swath of inaccuracies and false misrepresentations, which were not put to Kensington Palace prior to publication. The whole thing is class snobbery at its very worst. It's ironic that the royal's favorite magazine is being trashed by them. It's obvious who is behind this. Meghan Markle is trying to break Kate. It's not working. And a fan also said, "Of course, Kate is upset. Markle is bitter and poisonous. She cannot accept that the Brits saw through her lies and pretense, and she will punish the whole world for her failures if she is allowed to. So Kate needs not to worry at all. She far outclasses Meghan in every way. She has not put a foot wrong, and we are proud of her." While Megan will always be a second-rate actress, hungry for fame and publicity, I won't be surprised if the source of the Tatler article was either Megan herself or a member of her family or friend. I think Megan is jealous because she knows that Harry will never be king. A fan replied to him: Harry sees whatever his wife tells him to see. He was always very close to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and worked well with them. Then along comes a zealous actress with a dodgy background, yachts, burger flipping, etc. And he falls headlong into the mire and ditches his family. Put a sock in it, please, Markles. 
Catherine has done nothing to deserve the scrutiny between her and Megan. Megan is a bad apple who has been the instigator all along. It's a shame Harry doesn't see that. The next fan wrote, The magazine claimed Catherine the Great on the cover. Inside, the article ripped her to shreds, insulted her family, and accused William of wishing Carol was the mummy he never had. It was disgusting on all fronts. Clearly, the writer despises Kate for being middle class and not blue blood. There's no comparison between Kate and the other one. Kate is a classy woman, and the other one is a whiny loser. Another added, There's no comparison between the two. Kate is intelligent, educated, sophisticated, and elegant. She understands tradition and etiquette and proved herself as a royal by serving queen and country. Meghan Markle had none of the credentials required to become a royal, and if Harry was always unhappy as a member of the royal family, maybe it's because he was the spare who became surplus to requirements with four-inch line ahead of him. Once a royal favorite, but that ship has now sailed thanks to Meghan Markle and his whinging. For me, I always said she did it to deflect negative attention away from Meghan and Harry so they would not be blamed for apparent exhaustion because of their departure. She wanted to stop the negativity between them and keep things in order, so she fired back. Yet Meghan still complained. Kate can do no right by Meghan. Nobody can. Whatever they try is simply not good enough for her. She's a typical spoiled celebrity from Los Angeles with a narcissist personality. Even when people are trying to help her, it's not good enough for her unless she is in control of it and everything is going her away. She is never grateful for anything. And apparently, as we have linked the facts, Megan was behind this case through her relationship with her close friend. However, perhaps bad luck will continue to follow Megan and her best friend when, in another news, Jessica Mulroney is in hot water. Black Canadian blogger Sasha Exeter took Meghan Markle's bestie to task for her using her white privilege to not only stay silent on the Black Lives Matter issue, but to actually issue threatening behavior. As harsh as Exeter was in her call-out, Mulroney deserved every inch of what was coming to her. While mostly known in her native Canada, Sasha Exeter is no stranger to the blogosphere. Her lifestyle and fitness website, So Sasha, deals in the usual influencer subject matter of so cute swimsuits, so pretty travel destinations, and so fashionable clothes, all depicted with the diffuser flash and a pearly white smile. But in an 11-minute Instagram post, Exeter dragged Jessica Moroni for filth. In addition to accusing Moroni of conveniently avoiding the Black Lives Matter issue, Exeter actually went so far as to say that Moroni was threatening her. Listen, I am by no means calling Jess a racist, but what I will say is this. She is very well aware of her wealth. She perceived power and privilege because of the color of her skin. And that, my friends, gave her the momentary confidence to come for my livelihood in writing. Textbook white privilege, in my personal opinion. During the span of about a week or so, Jessica basically ticked every single box of what a white woman should absolutely not do during the biggest racial uproar in history. Citing that this really wasn't a problem, she really didn't want to share on her social channels, excuses that she would be bullied or vilified by the public and the media if she did, claimed her show was more important to promote because it was going into its season finale because, after all, this is her job and get this, they matter too. At one point, Exeter even compared Mulroney to Amy Cooper, the white woman you probably know as Central Park Karen. Sensing a PR nightmare of epic proportions, Jessica Mulroney immediately took to Exeter's Instagram to issue an apology, and, as seems to be the norm, she dragged Meghan Markle into the middle of it. As I told you privately, I have lived a very public and personal experience with my closest friend, where the race was front and center. It was deeply educational. Public experience? Girl, please. It was Meghan Markle who got thrust into the spotlight when she married Prince Harry, Jessica Moroni just went along for the ride because her kids were in the bridal party. Additionally, Exeter had a great point. Moroni's close friend is arguably one of the most famous black women in the world. How was she completely unaware of the Black Lives Matter movement and how it would affect her? If for no other reason than the fact that Meghan Markle spoke out vociferously against the murder of George Floyd. Would it have killed Jessica Moroni to put up even the most basic of posts in solidarity with her bestie prior to Exeter dragging her for filth? Probably not. But she's clearly so insulated in her bubble of power, wealth, and privilege 
monetary celebrity, and yes, white privilege. That she couldn't be bothered, and that's what makes Exeter's dragging well earned and well deserved. And you, what do you think about this news? Please tell me in the comment section, and we can talk about Meghan Markle and her friend. Remember to like and share my video. Also, please subscribe to the Sussex Daily News channel version 2 to get more news from the royal family. Now, have a nice day and see you in the next videos. Bye!